I'm Ted Robinson. I'm the Managing Director of the Alternative Board. Because I bring business owners, business leaders together in small groups so that every member brings an opportunity or a challenge to that group and we use a collective knowledge sat around the table to help solve it. Then between the board meetings, I mentor and I coach each of my members to make sure what they've committed to, they actually deliver into their business, making their business better, making their business stronger. My ideal Prime Minister would be somebody who absolutely tells the truth, the complete truth, and then delivers exactly what they're going to do, what they said they would deliver in the first place. I'm fortunate because I meet hundreds of business people every week. And I think for me, the business person I most admire is somebody who's, who's got the gumption to actually go ahead and do what their dream is. That's a perfect business plan. Like. Not really a business quote, but for me, just do it. That sums it up to me. It has to be the mighty Leeds United, the glorious White Army, going back to the olden days, but now re-emerging from the ashes. I'm actually going to choose two. Tiny Tempo, because he's amazing live. And then a local artist, a lady called Jo Hamilton, who, if you don't know, Google her absolutely amazing voice. It has to be Pulp Fiction. No particular reason other than it's a great film, great soundtrack, great actors. Not really a great TV fan, but has to be a little bit of Walking Dead. You can't be a bit of zombie. For me, bars where, where all my friends are, bars that are open. Probably go old school, so for me, Kylie Minogue, absolutely stunning. The power for me would be ultimate knowledge, the ability to know everything, fantastic. Can't really do better than running tab. I think a good dinner party would have Henry VIII, because that man knew how to party. Uh, Donald Trump, just to ask why. Stephen Fry to then battle with Donald Trump. And Kylie Minogue, just because she's Kylie Minogue. Well, believe it or not, I've actually recorded an album um, a little while ago, and I'm still working on that difficult second album. Downtown for me for two reasons. First of all, downtown actually deliver what they say they're going to deliver, which is great and refreshing. But also they've, they've enabled me to meet some of the, the real movers and shakers within the Birmingham business community. Perfect.